This is episode 53 of Live Day Trading. Let's get into it. What's up everybody, Michael Silva here. Welcome to another episode of Live Day Trading. This is the series where I take you into the computer and trade live on the Webull desktop software. This is Coco. If you've watched my previous videos, you've seen her around. She's my little luck charm. Unfortunately, she wasn't lucky today, were you? No. You were unlucky. You smell, and you're ugly, and you're so cute. Today I traded ticker symbol BA, that's Boeing. And unfortunate for me, I was shorting into it when there was just too much strength and too much optimism going into the stock. It was like swimming up a river. Um, I didn't trade it once, twice. I traded it, I believe, three times um, because I just, it looked like it was about to curl over and it just, the bulls kept on stepping in and I was the bear trying to hammer it down um, with obviously a small position size. I lost $350 today. Let's watch how it traded out. I probably should have just stuck to just walking away after the first one, but just part of me felt like, no, like I, this, I can, I can get this back. And um, that's a dangerous thing <laughs> mentally to, to take on, especially when you're trading. Usually I walk away, like I said. But um, yeah, today I didn't, $350 loss. However, I did finish positive for the week, $197. So that is a good sign. Um, this is my second losing uh, day in a row. Um, hopefully this is, streak doesn't continue off into next week, but uh, we will see. So let's go ahead and hop into this show and see how it played out. Whee! Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hey, hey, hey. All right, all right. We are here at chart BA, that is Boeing. Check it out, check it out. Huge gap up, up 10% currently. It was up even higher. Uh, this is what I'm seeing. So we got this big burst up this morning, okay? A lot of excitement going on in the markets. And then we have all these buyers come in and then all of a sudden some profits are being taken out. So these people up in here that were buying, buying, buying to drive up the price higher are getting trapped, trapped, and trapped. So they might be getting scared. You see what I'm saying? I'm thinking this price can go lower and it's a good risk versus reward trade because I'm not really risking too much. The VWAP is right right above here in the 8 SMA. So my stop loss will probably be just right above these candles in the VWAP. Um, so let me put on my little thing right here about right right right, right there about 150.10. And I'm short. Now this right here, this blue line, that is the um, that's a Fibonacci level, which I don't usually typically use, but it's on the daily chart and it's just showing right here. But look at where it kind of uh, it gapped up and then pulled back to this level. So I think we might be able to retest this, but I'm going to be pretty aggressive on this trade um, just because who knows what the market's going to be doing right now, you know? So it's falling right now. Let's go see uh, if we can take some, take some profits off the table. Okay, I have about 90 shares remaining out of those 200. Like I said, this is a volatile stock, so the move doesn't look gigantic, but that's like a couple bucks right there. Not quite, but almost. And then we have the MACD, which I don't think I called out. That's kind of curling over as well. So this is looking good. All right, my stop loss is now being moved down just to the high of that candle, um, of the previous candle, so it's right above it. I trail it down on my shorts because you need to be aggressive and I am aggressive. So I am now down to 50 shares short and I will now just walk down these candles. So if I get stopped out, it's over. If it keeps going, great. I'm actually a little worried here because this white line is literally on the VWAP so I might need to give it just a little tad more room to breathe. Eh. Yeah, it, it needs room to breathe. Those are important levels. Shouldn't, yeah, that's kind of annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna actually keep my stop loss back to the original position because we have the MACD curling over. I don't wanna be on the VWAP, that doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I need to be behind the wall. So when you set up a stop loss, you need to protect yourself, not be in front of a shield. So it doesn't mean that you won't get stopped out still and I'll lose out on some change, but 150.03 will be my stop loss. It's a better position.
Ah, yep, go figure. Got stopped out. I mean, it was in bullish context, so I guess it makes sense. Whatever. Whatever. Kind of sucks. Bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Hmm. Well, I didn't lose money on that trade because I was aggressive in taking shares off the table down here. But because I held on to those 50 shares up until this point, it did break through the VWAP, broke through these previous high candles. This It's just been kind of like this for the last couple of days here for me. Um, $13, four, yeah, $13 profit. <laughs> Woo! All right, I think I'm gonna try to find one more trade um, if there's anything that presents itself. But the markets have been a little, little bit hard for me to kind of wrap my head around, try to time and whatever. But this happens as long as I'm not like throwing money at stuff and losing it. Then I, I don't really care because um, this stuff does happen. You know, you go on streaks of winning and then you go on some dead streaks like this. Look at this thing though. I mean, I feel like it's going to curl over still. Like the MACD is shot all the way up here and now it's curling back over. You got this pulling, forming this kind of wolf candle right now. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. And if it does form a wolf candle or show signs of weakness, I might get back in or just look for the next opportunity. I'll be back. Kachika. Okay, I am back in this position. It is still showing signs of weakness. It got me faked out here with that kind of like blow off there and then all these buyers came in now they're probably taking some profits oh yeah yeah so where where am i so i'm gonna have my stop loss here my entry point is 148.37 37 what the hell happened there oh yeah okay i did get there um okay there we go i am still planning on going short but a little bit less of a position size 100 shares giving my giving my stock room to breathe 151.30. So I can still lose a couple hundred bucks on this trade, depending on where it wants to go. But I'm looking at the spy chart too, and it presented a wolf candle. So it's an inverted hammer, right? And then I have the MACD crossing over on the spy, which is pretty bearish, and then also right here on Boeing. So I just I just I just feel like it's gonna go lower. And it, even if it doesn't go significantly lower, it still might reach the low of these previous two candles. Three candles, sorry. And one quick note, so I got back into this trade within about three or four or five minutes or something like that, but realize what what I did. So all this weakness presented a bounce, right? And then it showed it it showed another sign of weakness. That's why I'm getting into the position, okay? If it didn't show this sign of weakness, this red candle right here, where it's kind of a long upper wick or a long upper shadow, I, I wouldn't have hopped in. If it was a green candle, I would have just left it as is. So that was my thought process. Let's get back into it, here we go. the hell oh my gosh so I got stopped out there let me see here yeah I don't know I'm just I should just give up I really don't feel like giving up I feel like I can I feel like I can get it back <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. this is so annoying Okay, so yeah, I got stopped out there, down $156 for the day. Was this too tight of a stop loss? Was it not? I don't know, I mean, it went up more on me, so who knows? I just, it's so annoying because I'm watching the spy chart. It just broke through the 20 SMA. This is curling over, like this is going to go down. I just guess I had to be more patient. You know what? I'm gonna do this live, live in five. Hit it. Boom. All right. So I, I just got stopped out up here, which I, I, I just know that this is going down further. I can just tell by looking at this chart. It doesn't make sense for it to keep on continuing to go up. So I am going to go short 200 shares again. Well, actually, the last one one was 100, so I'm down 156 bucks or whatever. But and my entry point is 149.73. Okay. All right. 
This is my last whack at it. I'm gonna give it a little bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna give it room up here. 150, 77. 150, 75. That last one was playing games on me, man. It was just trickling around the stop loss there for a while. 150, 75, buy. Okay. Not buy. Okay. So I'm going short at this green line. Stop loss is at the white. Again, let's see here what I can drum up. I, I just I feel like there's a big pullback coming and I don't know, it's just been it's just been playing with me right now. Or it's, you know, an ascending triangle and it's gonna burst up through it, so I don't know. I don't know. I got stopped out. Son of a gun. Son of a biscuit. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, <laughs> why? It happens. Okay, down 350 for the day. 350? Come on. Stupid. What a weird day. Should have just went long. Should have just went long, even though everything's telling me otherwise. Let's walk through this. I want to see here what happened. Basically what happened was I kept on going into it when I probably should have just walked away, which I usually do, but this one just, the setup is just, it just makes sense. I mean, the gap up, yeah. So the gap up is what's telling me like, hey, yeah, it's in bullish context, but then you have the spy also dropping, rolling over. You have the MACD here, you have the MACD over on the other chart. A lot of this is showing signs of weakness. But then also there's some decent signs of bullishness. I think I'm just gonna walk away. Yeah, down 350 for the day. Honestly, it's not too bad looking over through my past history. Um, yeah, and look at this thing go. Woo, wee, everyone's like, yay, bye. Yay. <laughs> Whatever. Ah, sheesh. Okay. If I do see any other trades come up, I'll I'll come back on. If not, have a good day. Shut da 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 dang, baby. I lost 350. <laughs> Bye.